During any given hurricane season, you're likely going to hear the term rapid intensification. So let's raise that weather IQ on what it is. Rapid intensification is when a tropical cyclone, so either a tropical depression, tropical storm, or hurricane, increases their maximum sustained wind speed by 35 miles per hour or more within a 24 hour period. That might not seem like a lot, but that 35 mile per hour boost could be the difference of one to two categories on the Saffir Simpson scale. For example, a hurricane is a category two with a sustained max wind of 100 miles per hour. A 35 mile per hour increase brings the sustained winds to 135. That's category four and a similar peak to Hurricane Hugo. The ideal setup for rapid intensification is low wind shear, a tropical air mass without impeding dry air, and ocean temperatures above 80 degrees. But sea surface temperatures from 85 to 90 degrees are like jet fuel. The most significant rapid intensification on record was Hurricane Patricia back in 2015. Patricia rolled over waters that were up to 88 degrees. Patricia was a category one hurricane with max sustained winds of 85 miles per hour on October 22nd. 24 hours later, it was a monster category five West Mexico with winds up to 205 miles per hour. That's a 120 mile per hour increase. Rapid intensification is becoming more and more common and problematic, where 70% of all of our billion dollar tropical cyclones rapidly intensify. I'm meteorologist Chris Mulcahy with WCNC Charlotte.